Hi, hopefully y'all are doing well. So moving on to part two of the executive branch today, we talked on the other part of the video about the governor and lieutenant governor and how they are kind of overseeing the executive branch. However, there's more to the executive branch than just those two. It's actually gonna be the largest branch, believe it or not. I know it's not what we would think of, but it is our largest branch in the state of Georgia. The reason that this is so is the executive branch, they have the responsibility of enforcing all the laws that are gonna be passed by the legislative branch. That's gonna take a lot of people to enforce the laws and to make sure that it happens. The way that they're gonna do this is through a bunch of different state agencies and through different departments that they're gonna create. Uh, a lot of these you've probably already heard of. I'll give you some examples. The Office of the Secretary of State, the Attorney General, the State Department of Education, Department of Insurance, Department of Agriculture, and the Department of Labor. Those are your top six. Yeah, I know it's a lot. Don't worry about memorizing everything at once. It's, it's a lot. Just know that the agencies, they all have their own part. I will very briefly go over a couple of the agencies. Um, the Secretary of State is the, like the constitutional officer they are kind of the keeper of georgia make sure that um they're supervising and monitoring the elections that take place in the state of georgia over the years um it's a huge responsibility but someone's got to do it and that would be your secretary of state the attorney general it's going to be the state's chief legal officer so they're kind of over everything for the constitutional making sure everything is going to be legit and the legal advisor for the entire state of Georgia. State Department of Education, this is going to be made up by lots of people. It's got the state school superintendent, just like we know. We have our district superintendent. There is a state level district, um, state level superintendent for all schools and it has the Board of Education for the state of Georgia. And there are going to be 14 different members on this board as well. And they're going to be five different offices that make up just the Department of Education. So now just by talking about those three, you can see how this is going to be a large part. We're adding so many people in and that's just three that we've spoken about already and how it ends up being the largest branch. Department of Insurance, obviously they are going to be over regulating all the insurance companies in the state of Georgia. So home insurance, renter's insurance, car insurance, business insurance, a lot of people, a lot of forms a lot of different agencies within that one department. There's also gonna be the Department of Agriculture. They are going to regulate Georgia's agricultural industry. If you remember, we were talking about a few weeks ago um, about going into the Great Depression, about how there were issues in agriculture that everyone would have been growing the same crops. They needed to diversify crops um, and the bull weevil and stuff like that. Department of Agriculture, their job is to kind of oversee and make sure that things like this aren't happening again. Make sure that the crops are being taken care of, the farmers are being taken care of, that they're regulating this and they're regulating how the farmers and agriculture interacts with businesses so that no one's ripping each other off and they're all making equal money. And that, you know, we're getting the best agriculture that we can from the state. The Department of Labor is going to be over the workforce programs. This is going to be the people who deal with unemployment issues, rehabilitation programs, um, Workforce Investment Act. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up, take some time to yourself, do some research. But they are really going to make sure that there are employment opportunities for everyone in the state of Georgia and there are funds for them. So a lot of people are going to take part because each of those is going to be an agency within a department. Some other agencies that you've probably heard of that are going to go into the executive branch is the Department of Transportation, the DOT. You see them out there. They maintain Georgia's roads. They create them. The Department of Economic Development, making sure the economy is growing, that the laws are taken care of um, so that development can occur legally and correctly within our state. The Department of Natural Resources, DNR, looking out for our environmental needs. Department of Public Safety. This is going to oversee your state patrol, and just so you know, your governor oversees all of your state patrol. He's like the chief officer. The Public Service Commission, Department of Revenue, the GBI, Georgia Bureau of Investigation, we'll get into that a little more later on in other videos, is they are over the criminal justice system, making sure that everything is okay, forensic laboratory services. It's really cool. Um, and there are so many other ones that you could probably learn about, but I'm not gonna go into detail. Just know that the executive branch is more than just two people. It's made up of hundreds of people, lots of agencies, lots of departments. All right, thanks.